Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. It's Christina here on a squeaky stool. So I haven't uploaded in a little while, but I've been getting so many views and comments on my Minolta videos and my shooting film videos. So I definitely wanna just show you guys a little bit of the wedding film that I shot. Um, actually, I've shot two wedding films since the last video and I can't wait to show you all. actually a wedding that I was in charge of photographing which was really cool so the couple are two of my closest friends and they really wanted a film um, from their wedding day as well as digital photos I knew I had to do it I knew my friends wanted a wedding film and it was really important so I did it and it was really scary but it was really cool and obviously I wasn't completely relying on film for this wedding you know I was still shooting digital as well so I'll put in some little behind the scenes. One thing I want to do is do unpaid advertisement for Safe Light Berlin. First of all, how cool is this sticker? Safe Light Berlin are the place where I get all my films developed and I would have it no other way. They are so great. I'm not getting paid to say this, but they are great. They're very professional, super awesome people in the lab who work there. Really fantastic quality, like this. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to show you guys all the pictures like this. I'll show digital versions because I don't want to get my fingerprints all over these pictures that I have not yet given to Chow and Isaac. <laughs> really amazing quality. I don't know if you can see this, but just absolutely fantastic. This is in matte, and so it's not like very shiny or anything, which is fantastic. Um, and just look at those colors. Like I said, Kodak Portra really brings out the green, and it really did. I shot three films. was just at a friend's wedding where I was not the photographer but the photographer at the wedding let me. I knew that I would be bringing my Minolta camera with me and I knew that they had an official photographer obviously and then I ended up meeting her at the reception and I said hey you know I want to take a couple pictures of Jamie and Harriet because also I had taken a couple of portraits of them three days before their wedding with my digital camera right so I was like mm, I definitely want to grab a couple of pictures of them at the wedding as well and it's like really good for my portfolio. The photographer said it was fine and it was literally like 10 photos of them at golden hour, you know, and they turned out so beautiful. That film was Kodak Gold. <laughs> people another insight into the day. This is a, such a lightweight camera and it's fantastic. And I just love having it at events. And then I take photos of moments that other people didn't see. I just want to continue offering film photography at weddings because I think it is so special to have those pictures that where well, you don't really know how they turned out. Film photography has this power to hold a moment even tighter than digital photography does. It's actually like you can, like you can feel the moment, it's like tangible. It's got this nostalgic feeling and these are the kind of photos that you wanna look at for the next hundred years, you know? And yeah, just, ugh. I can't stop talking about film photography. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video, this little insight into shooting a couple of different weddings on film. And just as a reminder, like you can shoot weddings on film. You don't have to be a digital photographer. You can make film your career as well. There's a lot of people who just only shoot film it's a whole craft because obviously there's a lot of things that can go wrong. It's quite expensive after a while and things like that, but I love it so much. And I'm really glad that I got to share this with you guys. Don't forget to check out my Instagram and subscribe here to my YouTube channel and find my website, which is in the link in my bio.